front on the front of our book there is a picture of a woman who had no legs. At the beginning of the pilot, when I first met her, she had no sari, no respectable clothes, and no role in her community. Long before the end of the pilot, she was the seamstress. She was the person making the clothes in her village. She had her own equipment for making clothes. She had her beautiful sari, and she had dignity. Yeah. Dignity. Oh. But you know, to answer Hilda's question, I will tell you a little story which I've told. Alexander, Robert know this story because they've heard me tell it. But it was a very revealing finding. I went to one of those villages at the beginning of our pilot. And all the women were wearing veils. And we had to have their picture taken in order to have a card for them to qualify to receive the basic income. And we had to have them go into a hut with only women. And it was like that. Nine months later, I went back to that village and I said to my Indian friend, Sarath, my Indian colleague, and now Pian supporter and strongman in our organization, I said to him, have you noticed a change in this village? And I will always tease him because he said, no. And I said, well, look, none of the women are wearing veils. None of the women are wearing veils. So we 